Welcome to yet another episode of Art Ninjas. I'm doing Aram again. This time I got Rom. He's actually the champion I main. So this should be good. I hope. Or utter failure. Either way, it'll be interesting to watch. Alright, at the suggestion of Dark Lake Talon, I am going to try to focus mostly on Braum. And I've done Fog of War for the red team. Hopefully it won't be as uh, hectic and confusing as the Twitch one was. Easier to follow, maybe, where I am. Ooh, we got an early kill, and I got the kill! So what we got here is the double Teemo. Kills just about everyone every time. Brom, Amumu, Lux, and Malzahar. So that's a decent team comp with uh, Amumu and Brom as your tanks, and the other three as your damage dealers. We are facing off. I'm sorry about the camera moving around. I'm just getting used to doing it this way. So on the other team, they've got Annie, Ezreal, Blitz, Quinn, and Akali. So they're not as tanky. We've got uh, more damage ability. Ezreal goes down. You know, based on their team comp, they've got good poke. They should have an early advantage. So far, we've got them pressed back to their tower. We haven't been able to do much about it yet. With Blitz with his grab. Now something you didn't see, but I was able to on the load screen. Um, two of us have rank 5 in the champions we got, and one is a rank 4, so... Most of our team is very familiar with the champions we're playing, so that is an advantage. Now, one thing I'm noticing, quite understanding, is it seems that one of their champions always seems to be back behind the tower or back out of the fight. Oftentimes you'll see Annie not on the map, occasionally Blitz, so... They rarely have their full force up there with them. That obviously is a disadvantage. And now take note of the Poros that I'm feeding, they got their orange mustache. Stunned. Oh, and Annie goes down. And Ezreal goes down. Double kill for the team. It's poison. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lux. Grab, oh, she's toast. Sorry, nothing we could do about that. Get in range of the blitz, you're gonna pay the price occasionally. Now, I don't understand why Teemo isn't played more often in regulars, normals. 
it is so difficult to deal with. Yes, he's squishy. He gets melted pretty quick. But he can hide. He can poison the crap out of you. Kite like crazy. He's just uh, very difficult to deal with. He's not really a hard champion to play either. As a squishy, maybe you could play him ADC more. He's got the range, he's got the harass. All the support there to keep him alive. I don't know, maybe there is a reason. Maybe y'all can comment in the section below. Tell me why Timo is not a good choice as ADC or just in normals in general. Getting a few hits in their tower. Oh, Blitz. Grab. Got a Mumu. Well, so far I haven't died. Quinn, what was she thinking? Just got milk. Well, it's a clear advantage so far for a red team. It's not a team comp advantage this early in the game. Tanks usually don't get tanky until they're able to buy some stuff. So, I'm not sure why. I guess it's just outplaying them. Familiarity with the champions we're playing. They may not be as used to theirs, probably. Now you can see they're spotting Teemo's mushrooms, so they've obviously bought the vision potion, which is very smart to be against Teemo. They have at least one, preferably two people with that potion. Alright, Lux takes a Kali down. Snowballs. I like using them when I have a melee champion. A couple reasons. One, I've actually sniped a few people and killed them with a snowball. They don't do much damage, but when they're low, they've got long range. The other is, of course, if you haven't played Aaron much, if you hit someone with a snowball, you can then hit the same summoner spell again to uh, uh, support to them. Would be the best way to explain it. Ezreal goes down. Almost got Teemo there. Oh, Quinn's dead. Akali's dead. Our team's doing quite well. We're able to uh, collapse on them when they come in at us pretty quickly. Their mistake is coming in at, at us one or two at a time instead of the full team. Boom! Got her! <laughs> That's right. Brom's got some range to him. And there goes Akali. Ooh, Blitz just out of my range. There, I got him with the snowball. I could teleport to him. 
Knock him up and kill him. Mumu gets Ezreal, then Mumu dies, but I still live. We're gonna get this tower. Low. Really low. Mumu probably thinks she can kill us. Nope, I don't think so. Quinn gets stunned and killed. <laughs> Lux, the double kill. Another kill. He's on fire. Why would you port to me? Timo's dead. Mel's dead. Based on how they're playing, I would assume that uh, the Akali player has not played Akali much. Whoa. He's dead, Lux is dead, Tibbers is pissed. Uh oh, they're chasing me down. Where's my backup? Where's my. Oh, there's my backup. <laughs> They're both gone and I'm still alive. <laughs> brom, brom, brom. You are one tough FOB. back to get some health while they work on the towers. Then I'm back. Fourth time Blitz has tried to grab me, and you think it would have worked, but it missed. Uh, so close. Quite a stand now. Still pretty lopsided though. And I went down. Deader than a doornail. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I got one tower. One more to go. This has been a very lopsided match. 
Ooh, and he got Lux. Blitz is going for the kill. Not smart. Take out those minions first. Mm, they want Mal's. They're gonna get Mal's. Here I come. Try to save the day. I <laughs> got a collie. <laughs> Fear the stash. Alright, even though we got the advantage, it's still not smart to go two on three. Yeah, it's even three on three, we got this. He's down, Ezreal's down. in time. Alright, inhibitor's back up. Short work of this. Getting in for that tower. And I'm taking damage pretty well. Kali <laughs> wants me. Team no, Kali wants me. Almost out of second death. Three down. Kali almost down. Annie's up somewhere. Kali's down. Annie's a lone survivor for the moment. Ooh, almost dead. Tower down. Annie down. That's an ace, and that's the game, folks. Way too much. Well, maybe the next one will be a little more competitive. Hope you enjoyed. Come back next time.